everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. So today I'm going to do a different kind of look. It's uh, going to be a look inspired by the Jacksonville Jaguars because I'm in Jacksonville and you know a couple of my viewers are from Jacksonville and they might like to see this. So I'm going to do one for you. I would do other NFL looks, but I'm really not that familiar with football and football teams. I just know about the Jaguars and and kind of this is not a tribute to them because I don't if I did like football it wouldn't be they would not be my team more than likely but I'm gonna use this LA girl hey hey vacay palette this thing is solid and I got it for half off it's got a big mirror in it and it is heavy it's got 16 colors in it right there I just now opened it so hopefully I'm gonna be happy with it because it has some teals in it So we're going to work on the eyes first and I think I'm going to do I think I'm going to do my cat eyes before the eyeshadow. So we're just going to take a good good uh, felt tip and I'm just going to line that top line right there as close to my lash line as possible and just bring it out just bring it out I usually mess this up five or six times but that's okay I try to start small so I gotta resist, resist the urge to pull like that because not only will that mess up the line but it's not all it's also not good for your your skin because the skin over your eye is so thin it's just it's what loses its elasticity first and you don't want to push that along I want it to be more prominent And now I just got to do the other eye. Okay, so we're going to let the liner dry. As this liquid liner, as you saw a minute ago, is very smudgy smudgy. And once it dries completely, we'll start the rest of the eye. And we're going to tap over this in a shadow just to kind of help Fill it in a little bit more and give it a little more oomph. And I guess while we wait for that, I can go ahead and at least start the nose. come back to that later. So I'm just gonna turn to my trusty, trusted Morphe palette. So we're gonna get some nice fresh brushes and go in here with the, this darker teal I got. I like it. If I was a Jaguar fan, I would go to a game like this. Well, just the eyes. I probably wouldn't do my whole face like a Jaguar. Then I got a little lighter teal. So we'll just top it with. Okay, so now we're going to draw on some 
brow, but I'm going to use black. Well, that teal really pops, doesn't it? Okay, so now we want to get, uh, where's my water? Need a few drops of water because we are going to use some Maron paint. Ooh, a few more drops than I meant and I intended, but that's okay. And we just kind of work on some rough spots for them. Let me put these on so it'll push the uh, hair out of my face. Then each spot we did in black, we're gonna just touch with a bit of brown. You know the Jaguar cheerleaders are called the Roar, but Jaguars are the only large cat or big cat that doesn't actually roar. Little fun fact for you. One year, a very long time ago, the Jaguars were doing super, super well. Like they were one or two wins away from being in the Super Bowl, something like that. Anyway, they were doing really good. It was when Mark Brunel was on the team. So, you know, they were a better team with him. I love Mark Brunel. But anyway, they, um, Eric put on the football game. He doesn't really like football game, but he was excited because the Jaguars were doing so well. And I was like, oh, I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch football. Why do I have to deal with this in my own home? You know, and I was just complaining. And then I saw Mark Brunel. He had the ball and he was running with it. And all of a sudden I'm going, run, run, run. I got so excited about it for a second, for a split second. And it, I don't think football's stupid or anything like that. I just never gotten into it. Now I do love me some baseball. Since we're also just going to do a little deep, deep, deep of white. Uh-oh, that one I did a little too much. I always thought somebody like a makeup creator or somebody that was really into NFL football and just loved all the teams or whatever should do a makeup palette. Where, or like a eyeshadow palette where each team is represented, you know? Maybe they already did something like that. I don't know. All right, so now I need some teal lips. And I used to have a teal lip color. I don't know what happened to it.
Okay, there's that. Now we got one little little detail. That's little extensions I bought at Spirit. I got them in two different shades because I thought they were pretty and I could never resist any kind of hair extensions or things like that, you know? I got these right at Spirit Halloween. They were very inexpensive. They were $2, and then when I went back to get some more, they were $3, so they did go up a little bit in price. I think maybe they just mispriced them initially. I'm not sure. And, they're, and for being long, they're very manageable because there's so few hairs in them. See, look, it's just this little clip. You just snap it out and then snap it in place where you want it. And my hair is so thin that with extensions, you can see the clips, but these are almost small enough to where you would, they wouldn't necessarily show up that well. Okay, there I go, that's it. That's my little tribute to the Jaguar fans. Super duper simple. You know, I'm sure that you can do one using your team's colors and you, with their mascot or whatever. Um, anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I had fun doing it, even though, you know, probably, I don't know how much crap I talked about the Jaguars, but you know, just that, I don't know. I mean, look at their record and you'll know what I'm talking about if you don't already know. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will talk to everyone later. Bye.